Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a testing new makeup kind of video, or at least products that are new to me. And we're gonna do a full face. Uh, the only thing I have on already is my Drunk Elephant Umber Tint. Um, and I'm not sure if I need also to put a primer on. I think I won't because we're actually testing a new complexion product. I've actually tried this once already and I really didn't like it <laughs> and I'm sad about it because this is not cheap. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So it's the new product from Fenty. It's not really a foundation. I mean, the name is Blurring Skin Tint. So to me, it's more like a tinted moisturizer type product. I mean, it doesn't say that it's moisturizing, but it's that kind of texture um, and that kind of coverage. Um, and this is very liquidy. Uh, the texture of this actually reminds me a lot of the foundation I tried in my last video, which was the L'Oreal Radiant Serum Foundation. So if that gives you an idea, it's more like a liquidy serum type kind of texture. But it's supposed to blur the skin. And I'm not just saying that because the name is Blurring Skin Tint, but if you go on Sephora, you'll see there's like before and after photos where like it really looks like it blurred the skin and I did not get that effect at all and what actually happened was it kind of was like again I have to talk about the Rare Beauty Foundation I'm never going to get over that but it had the same issue where like the pigment just like builds up and looks weird in my pores. I don't know what ingredient is making it do that. I should probably look that up so that I stop buying products that have that ingredient. But <laughs> anyway, I wanted to give it another shot because I did use, I'm not sure what primer I was using. Um, and I actually was gonna do a whole video on this, but it would have been just me like applying it and being like, I hate this and that's the end. <laughs> So that's why I actually didn't have a new video last week because I wanted to do a review on this but it wasn't going to be a good video because I just did not like it after like right away like after a few seconds of applying it. But today I want to give it another chance and I want to apply it with a sponge because I did use my Rare Beauty foundation brush to apply this and I think that wasn't the best idea even though it does say on the Sephora app that you can use this with the Fenty foundation brush which is I mean all foundation brushes are kind of the same dense kind of brush so I don't know but it also said you could apply it with your fingers but I don't really do that so I want to see what happens with the sponge and I have the shade 4. One thing that is good about this product is the shade that I got. And thanks to the um, employee at Sephora that was like, no, you need to get this shade. Because I was going to get shade 2 and I'm so glad that I didn't. So anyway, let me shake this up. And it does also say to only use a few drops. And I'm not sure... It doesn't seem to be the kind of formula that you can use only a few drops of because it's so like thin and liquidy. But this is the applicator, which is actually very similar to this again, the L'Oreal Serum Foundation. And I'm just gonna put it directly on my sponge. I'm just gonna start with this tiny amount and we'll see what happens. So yeah, I guess I'm not gonna put a primer on cause I'm just worried it won't give me like the best idea of what this product is doing. So let's try this again. Okay, so far I like it a lot better with the sponge. Yeah, okay, I'm I am happy about this because it's not doing what it did before. So I think the brush was not a good choice to use and maybe my skin 
was a bit dry that day. Um, so it kind of like the brush and having dry skin mixed together kind of made it look more flaky and picked up like the dead skin, I guess. Because this is looking a lot better. Okay, I am happy. But I'm going to put another layer of pretty much the same amount. I, I know that this is just a tint, but I want to see if it builds because I do have um, some breakouts that I want to cover. And it does say specifically, again, on the Sephora app that this product is supposed to be layerable. Like you can put it over your skincare, over SPF, it specifically says that. So it should be able to work with different products if that's going to be a claim. Okay, this is so much better. I'm so happy. So you can see um, really like a very sheer coverage. And now I do kind of get the blurring part because if I look here where my pores are more pronounced, I can see they look a bit more blurred than they did before. Okay, so yeah, definitely a sponge or probably your fingers is the way to go with this product. So I'm glad I did give it another chance because I actually really like how it looks right now. And the glow you're seeing, I can't really say that it's from this product because the Umbra Tint does give you a pretty visible glow so that's probably what that's probably coming from that product but still okay good so this might be something good in the summer like for days where i want to put a bit of makeup on but i don't want anything heavy um and something like humidity and heat resistant which this also claims to be so that's my um second first impression of that product. I do need to put some concealer on though. Do I have a new concealer? Well, I think I'm gonna use my e.l.f. one again. I did use this for the first time in my last video, but that was the only time I used it, so this is pretty much new to me as well. And last time I used the East Drop, I actually used it with my Maybelline Age Rewind and these two products did not mesh well together. It was not good. So I was just having like an overall bad makeup day. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm hoping this might be a bit better. But you know what? I don't know because I think it's like a texture thing because this is more like a liquidy, watery type of texture. A thick concealer doesn't really go well with it. So I'm wondering if I should just use my Tarte. I think I will, yeah. This is uh, the concealer in my project pan if you didn't see that video. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. Yes, this has the same kind of like serum watery texture, which I think will be better suited. Let's find out. And I'm also using this to add like a bit more coverage. Yeah, this was a good idea because when I used the Maybelline, there was like a clear demarcation of where like the texture of the, what is this called? <laughs> The blurring skin tint and the concealer there was like a clear line where one ended and the other started so just to give you an idea that that it's a bit finicky when you use these kind of um, formulas you have to use products that go together or else it's just gonna be a cakey mess. Yes, I am much happier with this. I'll give you a close-up So you can still see like breakouts freckles um, 
but if you're someone that only likes like matte full coverage you wouldn't pick this up anyway since it's called a blurring skin tint but just so you know so i don't think i'm gonna use any other cream products today so i'll just go in with my powders now i did pick up a new highlighter because i couldn't resist it was on sale <laughs> um for 50% off i believe it's the clinique powder pop flower highlighter in lunar pop so i wanted this like since it came out but this product is like 40 dollars um at full price so i was like no that's too much for a highlighter um, and then I saw that Kathleen Lights had mentioned this. I don't know if it was a favorites video, but she was saying like how she really liked it. And then it went on sale, um, like just the regular sales that happen every now and then. And it sold out like right away. So I was like, damn, but this past sale, I actually was able to get it. Actually it was sold out online, but I found it in store. So this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. So look how pretty this is. Oh my God. I don't even want to use it. It's so pretty. But I really just liked the shade of this. It's kind of like peachy. A lot of my highlighters are champagne kind of shades, but this one has like a peachiness to it. So I feel like it'd be nice for spring and summer. Um, do I want to put this on now? Or after? Let's see. I don't think I have a new bronzer. I do have my Patrick Ta She's So LA Double Take Cream and Powdered Blush. But I'm wondering, is this... Is this really a blush or a bronzer? Now that I look at it, yeah, I think it's a blush because it's quite as a red undertone, especially the cream part. So I might use that as my blush. I think for bronzer, I'll use my LYS one because I only used it that one time when I did that um, clean makeup video at Sephora. So yeah, I'd like to get a better idea of that one in case you didn't see that video. This is the LYS bronzer. Um, I love the packaging. I love the magnetic closure and it has a nice mirror inside. And here is the product, which is, um, it says it's a matte bronzer. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's called the No Limits Matte Bronzer. But when you look at it in the light, it kind of looks like a satin, but it's not shimmery or anything so let's do this one and i think this was the lightest shade if i remember correctly but i really like it it's just like super smooth and blendable it's not patchy which is always good especially for a bronzer because a patchy bronzer is hard to fix <laughs> And I think I'll go in with the highlighter next. I'm using new brushes too. I mean, they're not new, but it's just because I left a whole jar of brushes at my condo and I finally brought it to the house here. So I have like all these brushes that I haven't used in a really long time. <laughs> this one I don't think I've ever used yet. It's the brightening brush from Alamar Cosmetics. I'm gonna use it for highlighter. Um, but it'd be really good for like putting powder under your eyes. Oh, I don't want to ruin the flowers. Yeah, so this isn't going to be like a glow from space kind of highlighter. It's more subtle. It is really pretty though. Yeah, the shade is really good. It doesn't leave like a cast or anything. I think this brush is a bit too fluffy to use for highlighter. 
because this is very anytime you have a highlighter that has like a print in it it tends to be a very hard pressed highlighter so I think I need a denser brush actually I'm gonna use the Sephora Pro Fan Detail brush oh I'm already ruining the flowers oh well okay I think that's enough <laughs> so it's a more powdery formula than some other highlighters that I have but I do really like the shade and that being said, sometimes when a highlighter is more powdery, you can really see it like sitting on the skin. But this one just kind of melted right in. So I really like it so far. So finally, we'll use my Patrick Ta. I got this for Christmas and I have yet to use it. So I really need to break into it. And I've mentioned these before because this is not the only shade that I have. I have the... Do We Know Her? I think that's what it's called. It's the coral one. So I already know like how to use this and I've mentioned before on my channel. So you can actually use the powder before the cream and I think that's how it's recommended to use. And normally you can't really put cream products on top of powder but this one is specifically made for that. And I think now that's not really the case anymore. I feel like a lot of cream products are made to be able to put over powder now so that's good because a lot of people set their foundation with a powder before they do the rest of their face so for them they can use this product in that sense too. So I'm gonna go in with the powder first. I'm gonna use this brush. The This is from Crown. There's no name on it. Um, it came in a boxy charm, definitely. <laughs> so let me go in the powder. Ooh, I like this shade. Yeah, this is definitely a warm tone. So I wouldn't, I don't think I'd use this as a bronzer because it's just, well, maybe if I was more tan because sometimes in the summer a warmer bronzer looks better because it looks more natural. Well, this is very pigmented. I like just dipped into the, the product. I did not expect that shade to come from this. It's very, it pulls very red on me, but I mean, I like it. And I think for the cream part, I'm going to use my sponge. Let's hope that's okay to do. This also has like a lot more glow than I was expecting. I look so... <laughs> blushed on camera but in person it's not that red I don't know what's going on with the lighting but yeah this would be so pretty in the summer like when I actually have some sun um yeah wow that is very pigmented but again not patchy and blends out super easily which I was already expecting since I have tried this product before. See how like smooth it looks? And I will say all these products are working well on top of the Fenty skin tint so that's really good. I'm kind of just using this as my bronzer also because <laughs> it's just going so far. Okay, I really like this, but yeah, I think it's more like a summer shade for sure. For my eyeshadow, I have a palette that I've had for a long time now, but I have never used it, and it's the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette. I actually added this to my Shop My Stash because I felt like there was something missing for spring, and 
I also was influenced by Julia Adams MUA. I'll link her channel below. Um, she used this in a video and I was like, I really need to break that out because I have not used it. And it's so pretty for spring. Um, these like pastels, but they're more, they have more depth than like what you might think pastel would be. So I really want to use this. I don't want to do like a super crazy colorful look, but I don't know. I'm just really feeling this right now. I think what scares me about this palette is I don't, like I'm not sure what colors to pair together. You could always use like them in lines, but you know me and I'll just go in with the orange and it'll look like every other look I do. So <laughs> I'm trying to think of something else. I really want to use these two colors, this like pinky lavender shade and this like periwinkle is that what you would call it i really like the look of that so let's just see what happens so i think i'm gonna go in with this shade player one in the crease and maybe like all over the lid I really like this so far. And then the periwinkle shade. I don't even know if that's periwinkle, but that's what I think periwinkle looks like. <laughs> this one here, it's called 8-bit. I'm gonna go in the, cre like the actual crease, like when I open my eye, in that crease. I really like that. It's kind of like remind me of like watercolor or something where it's like a very soft wash of color. Well, because I am using fluffy brushes, but these shades seem to be quite pigmented. So you could pack it on too if you wanted more color, but I really like this kind of look. Question is, what do I put on the lid? <laughs> mm, I think I'm going to put a pink on the lid. Let's just go for it. This shade that I love the name, Rage Quit. <laughs> this shade here. Um, so this one I will use a denser brush to really pack on the color. Oh my god, it looks so bright. Yeah, so this is what I mean by like, if you pack on the color, you'll get a lot more um, opaqueness. And then I kind of want to blend those all together up here. I really like that. But I think on the lower lash, I want to do one of these shades. This might be a mistake. But I really like how this shade looks. This is kind of like, how would you even describe that? It's kind of like a more greeny turquoise shade. It's called Cheat Code. I think I wanna put that on the lower lash line. This might be a mistake. Ooh, I don't know if these colors <laughs> go together, but I feel like this is going to come together. Right now it looks maybe a bit 80s, but um, this is a really fun spring look maybe for some people. <laughs> I think I'll leave the inner corner blank for now and I'll just go in with my highlighter after. But it would be fun to put a color, like a matte, well these are all matte shades in case you didn't know, but 
It would be fun to put a color in the inner corner as well, but I think that's enough for today. You guys know I don't do many colorful looks, so this is very out of my comfort zone already. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we'll come back and see if this comes together. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I just feel like I'm not used to seeing these colors on my eyes, but we haven't done like mascara and stuff yet, so I think it should come together. But I really like the shadows, um, like especially this turquoisey color. That's not an easy shade to make pigmented, and I really lightly dabbed into the shade and stamped it on, and it can really see the color so I am quite happy with that. I don't think I want to do any eyeliner either because that's just going to get too out of hand. So let me do my mascara. The new mascara that I have is the one I used in my last video, the Maybelline Sky High. I think I'll use that again today because I just want to get more like a better idea of it because I really liked it and then I saw other people saying it was like the worst mascara ever <laughs> so I'm like oh was it like a fluke or is this actually good so let's try it again I think the thing is most people prefer volumizing mascaras but I like lengthening mascaras even if they don't add a lot of volume I just feel like I like the way my lashes look more when they're separated and lengthened as opposed to like voluminous and this just really helps me get that look and I also like that the brush is like um, skinny and comes to a point at the end because I feel like that helps you to get more definition I love this mascara, I don't know like, look at the difference. Yes. And I will say, I feel like my lashes are growing. Um, for a while, they were looking really short. But I think it's because I'm taking a B vitamin that's... Like, it's called B complex and it has biotin in it. And I honestly think it's helping hair growth because my lashes look longer and I noticed like where my hair was like kind of getting a bit thin I see like new hairs coming back I don't know if that's in my head but um I don't know it's ever since they started taking vitamins regularly this eye always gets a bit clumpier for some reason one thing I did notice though this mascara is really hard to get off. And I think there's a waterproof version of this. So I was like, did I get the waterproof one by accident? But it doesn't say waterproof anywhere. So I don't know. But it was really hard to get off. But look at, I mean, that's pretty good if you ask me. I don't know why I put more on this side though. It looked better before. Let's just comb it through a little. For my waterline, I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Fake Awake. Just cause I want it to look a bit brighter there. Although it does look pretty bright already with that color underneath, but I think this will look even brighter. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and I did put the, when I was off camera, I put my Clinique highlighter that I use on my face. I used it on the inner corner and the brow bone. It's very subtle, I will say. Um, but I do like the shade of it. For my eyebrows, I actually do have a new eyebrow kit. It's actually this huge thing called a brow bar. No. 
It's called the Bombshell Brow Kit. It's by Brow Bar by Rima. I got this in a boxy charm, and I was like, whoa, that's that's a lot of um, products in one. So <laughs> it looks like this. It's like a nice compact. Inside you have a whole kit for your brows and you guys know I'm very like lazy with my brows I use two products usually my essence make me brow and then I go in with the milk kush clear brow gel I don't like I mean I like those two products but I wouldn't repurchase them I'm just using them because that's what I have so I don't normally do like a full brow routine but I kind of want to try this so it actually has um, a little spoolie with a brush on the end, tweezers, a brow pencil, and then like these two brow um, powders. This is like a concealer um, to clean things up. And this is like an actual like eyeshadow, if you can tell. Like if you wanted to use to highlight your brow bone. I'm kind of scared, but I'm curious as well so <laughs> let me go in first with actually let me use this little spoolie this little tiny thing to brush my brow hairs and then i'm going to go in with the pencil which i kind of need to sharpen i actually got a new sharpener <laughs> um the physician's formula the rose like the new collection they came out with a sharpener just really cute but um i actually got this because i needed a sharpener that had a big hole in it for like um lip pencils and stuff so that's why i got this but let's try it for the first time it works well and i like that it has this little compartment where it catches the shavings and then you can dump it out so let's try this brow pencil. I like that it's not too like glidey because I don't like my brows to look super pigmented and defined. I just like to add a bit of color because they pull a very red tone and I prefer my brows to look more cool tone. So I think that's a good shade. Let's comb this out again. I think that matches my hair pretty well. It does look a bit warm on camera. Let me just try a bit of this deeper brown to see what happens. I'm just using the brush side of the little spoolie. Does that look crazy? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's all. Because I already put highlighter on my brow bone. Um, but I still, like even with this, I still need my gel. Because or else my brows, like, they don't stick up. If you know what I mean. They just look, like, fluffy. And I really like the laminated brow look which is why I'm going to pick up the Anastasia Brow Freeze in the Sephora VIB sale. So yeah, I'm really excited about that because it's finally in stock again. And yeah, so for now I'll just use my Milk Brow Gel just to help them give them a lift. Yeah, I just feel like that looks a lot better. I don't know, it is pretty warm tone though now that I look at it. It is very hard to find a cool tone brown for your brows. I don't know why everyone thinks we all want warm tone brows. Most people don't, I feel. So they really need to come out with more cool tone browns. I know for blondes, they always do like ash blonde and cool tones for blondes. But brown hair people want cool tones too. Okay. I kind of want to go in with more bronzer because I feel like that blush really 
overtook everything because it was so pigmented. So let's go in with some more bronzer. Okay, that's a bit better. So for setting spray, I like to do my setting spray before my lip. So do I have a new setting spray? I do, but I used it in my last video. I don't want to use too many products that I already used in videos. So I think I'm just going to use... Yeah, I'm just going to use my Project Beauty Spray Set Go. This is the setting spray in my Project Pan. And I honestly don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like it doesn't do much. But let's see. Oh, oh my god. And it drenches you. Oh my god. So wet. <laughs> So I have a new lip product I got in my Boxy Lux. Um, it's by Dominique Cosmetics. It's the Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. So it's in the shade Crush. I think it'll be a nice nude shade. Hopefully not too pink. So it's one of these like... Um, these kind of lip liners. I think Patrick Ta has something like this too, where it's like you can use it as a lip liner, but then just like fill in your whole lip and use it like a lip stick. So let me see. How do we even use this? Like, cause it's like a teardrop shape. So do you use the point? I don't know. It is creamy. It's a bit too deep for what I want to do. So I will just use it as a lip liner, but that wasn't very easy to apply to be honest because I didn't know what way to like put the product and it kind of just went everywhere, but I like the shade of it. So there's that. I want to do a glossy lip though. What's in my shop my stash? So my rare beauty. No. My Fenty Sweet Mouth. I've already used that many times. This is not gonna go at all. My Sephora Jelly Melt. Is this gonna be too crazy? This is the Tarte uh, Maracuya Juicy Lip in Mary Martini. I don't know, I think with this eye, it's hard for me to choose. <laughs> what about my Animal Crossing Just the Tints? I already used one in my last video. I think I used the coconut one. So yeah, I'm gonna use this. This is incomparable. I have to smell them every time. It does smell like what they are named. So this smells like pear. Um, let's see. These are so creamy. Yes, that was a good choice. So that's what that looks like. And I think we're done. I'm actually out of time also, so. <laughs> So I don't really know what this video was. It was just me wanting to experiment with some new products. So I guess this is kind of like a spring look. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh, let me get this mascara off my face. So good news is the Fenty blurring tint. I do really like how it looks today. It might be that it's a combination of my umber tint, but either way, it looks good. I love the Patrick Ta blush. Um, the bronzer was very smooth and maybe a bit too light for what I for the other products I put on my face, but I know I like the formula of that. And my brows look quite warm, which is throwing me off a little but the product itself was easy to use. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I hope you liked this video, even though I look kind of weird right now. <laughs> if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.